Wildflower. My name is Romina Rasmussen and I'm the pastry chef at Le Mudlen in Salt Lake City, Utah. And today we're going to be making a coffee cake with apples. So I'm going to start with some eggs and um, some sugar. I'm just going to beat those together. I'm not looking to add a lot of air. I'm just adding, looking to incorporate them. Uh, and whenever you add sugar to eggs, you want to make sure that you mix it as quickly as possible so that the eggs um, aren't burnt by the sugar. Uh, sugar is hygroscopic, so it's, uh, it absorbs the moisture from everything that's around it, which can be a very useful, useful quality, but when you're doing that, it's, uh, it can be a problem too. So to that, I'm going to add some buttermilk and some vanilla and some melted butter. Oops, it's going a little crazy there. I'm just gonna scrape it down and make sure that it's all incorporated. This is actually a pretty pretty quick recipe that you can make, um, you know, on a weekend morning when you're maybe having friends over for coffee or something. This will come together pretty quickly. You can make them as individual size or in a, in a big cake like the one you see here. Okay, so that's all incorporated. So I'm gonna add my dry ingredients, my baking soda, my salt, and my flour. And I want to mix it just until it's combined. And so I'll probably stop it just before it's ready so that I can finish it off by hand. And that way I make sure I don't over mix it, which will cause gluten and make it kind of a tough and chewy cake as opposed to nice, being nice and, and lighter. So I've got that. Go ahead and get the rest of it. Like I said, I'm just looking to have it be fully incorporated. I'm not looking for it to be smooth or anything. I just want to make sure it's combined. So I'm going to take about half of it. And I'm going to put it in my buttered and floured pan. I'm going to kind of spread it around. And then I'm going to add to that some apple compote that we've already made. That way I know my apple filling is already baked. Okay, and then I'm gonna cover that with the remaining batter. put just a few more apples on the top. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit. Spread those around. And then I'm going to bake it for, it's going to take 50 to 60 minutes to bake at 325 degrees. And that is how you make an apple coffee cake. 